Hey YouTubers, Travis here. This is my winter project. My 1978 Pooch Maxi Moped. I'm not actually entirely sure how to say it. Um, I say Pooch, people say Putch, Pooch. My friends call it the Puke sometimes. But uh, I acquired this bike over the summer. I paid some about $400 for it. It came with title, which is something that's very hard to come by. Because uh, in Pennsylvania, they're very, very stingent about their moped laws. You do have to have uh, title of registration insurance, the whole works, and if you don't have a title, sometimes it can be very difficult to uh, get your bike done up legally. This bike has an interesting story behind it. It only has, this speedometer will say, I can get to focus here, 1603. Sorry, this is my basement right now. I'm gonna do some big winter work on it and hopefully gonna catch it all on video so I can share with some people and hopefully help some people because this is a popular bike. Uh, one of the reasons it's popular is because even though the bike's 30 years old, there are a huge amount of performance parts available for the engine for it. Uh, websites like Treatland.tv or 1977 mopeds offer all kinds of piston kits, exhausts, all kinds of modifications for this guy. But stock, I was doing very well. I rode this bike over the summer. Uh, I rode it probably no more than 20 miles, unfortunately. It's got some problems, uh, and right now it's seized up. This bike, like I said, only has, when I had it, it had the high end of 1,500 miles on it. It uh, was purchased from a place here in Pennsylvania. Let's see if I can get to zoom here. It says Custer ATV Sales in Berlin, PA. So this is a local bike somewhat. Um, and I purchased it from a person whose father had bought it at an auction incomplete. And when I bought the bike from him, it was incomplete because it had just sat for so long. Um, it's titled in 1993, officially. So I, the history of this bike is really interesting. Unfortunately, he left a full tank of gas in it from at least 1993 or you know, older. I know a lot of the stories on this bike is, you know, someone will buy him for a summer, ride him around to the beach house or something, and then winter will roll around and they'll just never pick it up again or they'll die or whatever so yeah that's how this bike came in my possession I paid about four hundred dollars for it over the summer and uh, man when this thing was running I'd easily hit 30 32 miles an hour just on the straightaways this doesn't look like the normal pooch um, it's missing the side covers which I have in a box right behind it here got a big big to-do list for this guy and the engine is so simple even everything about the bike is simple from the wiring being in a simple block structure to the engine to the carburetor which I rebuilt by myself never having done anything like that before I've got the original manual for it which is just really basic information like what kind of spark plug to use and then available online I downloaded the service manual and I'll be making a short video on the best resources for this guy but uh, let's just take it from the top it's missing the original grip mechanism. I've got a very, very uh, <laughs> crappy lever right here that just moves the throttle cable, and that was doing okay. Um, I'm actually, I'm definitely gonna get a new grip for this, but the throttle system's got its advantages. Um, I'll definitely be putting something to cover that. Speedometer, the miles counter works, but the needle is really screwy, and I'd usually just top it off at 30 anyway, so over here, I have one very similar to it. This one goes up to 40 miles an hour. Be a little more accurate if I beef this guy up a little bit. I'm currently having problems with the electrical. None of the lights work. The bike will still start, which is great, but the uh, headlight and taillight won't work. Now it's just riding it around private property over the summer. Have not really taken it on the road yet. Totally rebuilt the carb right here. Um, very easy to do, and I'll make a little video on how to clean it. It's, uh, it's such a simple car, it kind of blew me away. This is really like the working man's bike. Um, I've tried to unseize it using the basic methods of using penetrating oil or PB blaster on the head and uh, have not made any progress. And I know why it's seized up. I was running an incorrect mixture. This is a two-stroke bike, so you mix the oil and gas and the oil lubricates the engine as it runs. It's using an incorrect mixture and uh, that's all I had at the time, but now I know what I'm doing. and. I had another problem with rust in the gas tank. Yeah. When they stored this, like I said, they stored it in a full tank of gas. So, 
see if I can get the light on the camera here. Hard to see, but it's decently nasty in there. Over the summer, I tried a process of using toilet bowl cleaner, and I got a lot of the rust out, but I guess I didn't get enough really to make a difference. I have a new strategy on how I'm going to do this. Currently, I've got just a real simple external tank right now, just for testing purposes. Um, but eventually, I'm going to try my rust removal method again and then use a sealer kit around that to kind of line the walls of the gas tank. Since it's part of the frame, I can't really just replace it as much as I'd like to. Suspension's good, exhaust is fine, chains are good. The tires, let me see if I can get a close up on here, are, um, let's see if I get some lettering on here maybe. No. These are original to the bike. Uh, they're Austrian tires and uh, they're not in terrible shape, but I am going to replace them. I have uh, Michelin Gazelles in the further box back there, which I'm going to place on here. And uh, the very, very nice tire, new tires, new tubes. Um, seats in great shape, actually, really nice shape. I do want to put like a longer seat on here, but we'll see. Let me get my light again. That is the wiring block right there. Again, how simple that is. Um, something's wrong with my electrical, but I'm not sure. Oh, and uh, the rear wheel has a dent in it somewhere. And when I put the new tires on, I've got another rim I got from a fellow moped enthusiast right there. And then there's the side covers in there. This one I've got a new air box, the speedometer, clutch cable. A couple extra spark plugs. Um, when I was running the rusty tank, I was using these paper filters, but uh, that wasn't really enough because I had so much rust coming through. All right, well, like I said, I'm gonna make some videos on this guy. Uh, hopefully, educate some people and at the same time educate myself because I'm really, really stoked to learn as much as I can about this bike and get it fixed up real nice. The paint's in decent shape. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned, YouTube. Thanks.